Good evening everybody and welcome to Lose Colourful Crafts. I'm Louise Daniels. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the UK and after, well I worked out, nearly 18 months of doing lives on a Thursday night I'm going to try a Tuesday for no other reason other than we seem to quite often miss Thursdays I'm either away or we're getting ready for the weekend and I just thought, you know what, we'll try another day. Hi Caroline, don't forget if you are out there and you're watching me live tonight, don't know, I've just broken a fingernail, um, do forget, do say hello, do let me know and put hashtag live and let me know what you think. So tonight um, I'm continuing using the Sunprint suite but in a slightly different way. This is going to be the theme for my card club in October and you have until the end of this month, so the 30th of September, to let me know that you'd like to take part. Um, as a reminder, the card club was £30. That gives you a complete kit for eight cards this next month, all from the Sunprint suite. You'll get the PDF as to how to make them, plus all the ingredients materials and everything else you could possibly imagine plus a few extras besides you can either make them with me in my soup and stamp on the 15th of october online on the 16th or just have the kit to enjoy at home but anyway without further ado over to what we're going to do this evening so as i say i've got the nature's print here and it's a beautiful suite i really do enjoy it but tonight i'm not concentrating on this i'm concentrating on this which is part of the suite and people often don't see these this is the stamp and cut embossing folder and this one's called the fern 3d so i'm going to pop this out of the way for now we may come back to it and these folders oops i've got things stuck to everything these folders look like that Hi Lorraine and you basically open it up you keep the black stamping up logo at the top you pop it into your embossing folder and it creates the most amazing 3d effects and what I thought I'd do this evening was just play around a little bit with this and create some cards so I've already run this through this is just the thin white basic card and I'm hoping you can actually see that. It's a fern fold. Let me see. How do we get it so you can see it? There we go. It's quite difficult to see on live, but what that's one of the reasons I'm going to do. So what I've got here are my blender brushes. If you haven't discovered these at Stamping Up, you really do need to. And oh, now first choice of the evening. Hi mum. Um, are we going to which blue am I going to start with? I've got starry sky, navy or pacific. Would you like to tell me which one you'd like me to use? Night, navy, starry or pacific. Hi Helen, well done on getting two bronze elite. That's a fabulous achievement. Starry sky, we've gone for starry sky. So let's go for that one. Starry sky. And all you're going to do is open up your ink pad. I'm going to bring in these starry starry oh i've got navy and starry well let's see what happens hey eh? so you bring them in if you haven't got one you do need one just a stroke if nothing else you apply it i tend to do it with circular motion on my pad and then you have to be careful because you don't want to just go straight in because obviously you're just going to get a big blue blob what you tend to do at least this is the way i do it i'm going to just turn it so i can see i'm left-handed but i use this with my right hand which is very confusing and I tend to go in circular motions and what you'll see is it will start to pick up the embossing folder pattern and I just think this is an amazing way yeah this is starry sky, starry sky. it's got me at it now starry skies I'm going to bring and you can always add more remember a bit more tricky to take off ink I've discovered but if you just add and what I'm going to do is hopefully create, I want a bit more down this bottom here. There we go. Let's have a look how that's coming along. Just love doing this. I think it's a really instant, clever effect. 
and it shows off the folder so much more easily and I am going to bring in the navy mum and add oh turn it round because I'm going to start from the other corner um, where, and the beauty of these brushes I'm going to start just so you can see the different blues because the navy is different you might look at them and think oh there we go it's a much more grey blue I think the starry is more purple I don't know whether that's the thing but there we go so you can see what I'm doing this evening so I'm picking out the ferns like so and then the one colour I didn't offer you is I'm actually going to bring in the grey I love the colours from this suite they're not colours at all that's a brand new granite grey let's hope it does something they're not colours I'd have put together you've got Pacific Point Starry Sky Night of Navy and this grey granite which is always to be the elephant grey I want it to be very pale and I'm just going to come across the middle here and just add and the beauty of the blends is that you build up your colours as you go so I'm going to bring the grey down here and hopefully you can see what I'm creating I've no idea what I'm actually creating here what colour is that one that's starry let's put a little bit more on this bottom down here there we go merge the two together blend them in hence the name and then I've lost a brush although there we go there's the navy yes it's I don't know why as soon as I use this one it's definitely the elephant grey to me this it's a bit browny I think um just going to put a little bit more navy on this one because that to me doesn't look very navy at all there we go that's better and just bring them down and it's totally random totally random and whenever you do it again you'll never get the same pattern twice now I've cut this piece of card to be 10 centimetres across and 14.4 down. So I'm hoping if I just go like so. And don't forget, if you are watching this live, to show me a little bit of love if you can with a heart or a thumbs up because I don't know why, but Facebook really like those. So literally I'm just going to bring in a piece of white cardstock again use my bone folder to create a nice edge and this will just go on here like so in a moment but before I do so in my case ready to go I do this quite a bit it's another tip um, I often punch out some of the bits and pieces and store them not punch out these are die cuts Louise um, so you can actually use them again and again without having to keep stopping and this has to be let me find this sentiment I love this sentiment from this set best wishes and happy thoughts and it fits exactly in here so I'm just going to grab a block and I'm going to try to put the sentiment on the block then and fourth it will use the Pacific point there we go brand new ink pad should be nice and juicy which it is I've retired my original Pacific point because it served me five years and I've tried re-inking it and it's where they've changed the pads it doesn't re-ink properly at all and I'm literally you can see so I'm going to actually use some dimensionals to pop this fern first ferny piece onto here so all I've done is taken a piece of whisper white embossed card um, some blender brushes and some inks and hopefully you'll agree I think it's created or oh, can't get the back of mid dimensionals off I hope it's you'll agree it's created quite an interesting whoa background and then this is going to go on to here but before I do so I'm just going to have a look at what I've printed out here which are the little tiny white these are from the dies in the suite and what I discovered is if I use dies 
like so with some snail or double-sided tape runner it's much much easier to then attach your little bits of foliage or die cuts or whatever else it is you want to call these I'm going to put three on oops three on like so and a little tiny one like so and there's one more little tiny one that, oh see he's not wanting to stay gate play where's he supposed to be going come on Lou Lou. there we go let's stick him on properly like so and I've lost another little one there we go because you can just add a little bit of this it's much less messy than trying to do it with Tombow and when you've got it how you think you'd like it to look and you know what else I'm going to grab? Where's some of that? Let's have a bit of this white baker's twine. And I'm just going to snip a piece off like that. Hi Fran, how are you doing? Got your order here. I'm just sorting out your uh, kit for the October Card Club. I've done the PDFs now. So I'm just going to, actually, I am going to use a bit of Tombow because I don't think that's going to stay stuck for very long. Yeah, I've changed to a Tuesday night, ladies and gentlemen, so just to keep you on your toes. Um, we seem to be away too many times on a Thursday. Use your grid to line it up, wiggle it about a bit, just hold it down to make sure it sticks. And then I've just got a little bit of white baker's twine. And I'm just going to tie a little white bow, just because I can really, no particular reason. Really, I'm not going to be able to. There we go. Normally can tie bows. There we go like so like so oh, I don't like that bow let's try again round we go round we go there we go oh it's because I broke my fingernail it's getting in the way there we go I broke my fingernail get my blocks out the block caddy would you believe there we go right that's better that's it and just trim them off and I'm just going to use a glue dot to stick my bow on with because you can get a couple and you can roll them up and make a little blob and then decide where you want to stick your little blob my little blob's going on there oops come on come on little bow bows take a lot of fiddling there we go there we go and then finally I'm just going to bring in some of the iridescent gems because I think these are really sweet um, if you purchase in the kit from me we're going to use the matte gems but I like these ones too Oops. and again I don't know why somebody will be able to tell me always better in threes so I'm just going to put a third one on over there so there we go that's my first card for tonight um, of using the same colors of the uh, sun print suite but I've used the folder a little bit of the stamps a little bit of the die cuts but not an awful lot else and then what I've also done similar thing is I wanted to show you that you can emboss no, another word. Yes, emboss the glimmer paper. So I'm hoping you can see that. That is the Starry Sky ombre glimmer paper embossed with the ferns. And if I bring in. Oh, now what are we going to do? Because I really am making this up tonight. There we go. I'm going to pop that on just like so so that's going to go on there again it's 10 by centimeters by 14.4 that just sits on top of there it really honestly doesn't need an awful lot else it just needs a sentiment but I might just what do we think do we think we need a stamped image it is wow isn't it yeah I was playing earlier on Caroline I was quite amazed at what you could do I'm, I'm going to stamp onto one of these uh 
Somebody will tell me. I think it looks like made of fern. I don't know what it actually is. Does anybody know what this plant is? You need the E block. And I'm going to I'm going to stick with all the same blue for this card. So this is the stamp starry sky. Now I actually usually try and do this stamp and then cut, but we'll give it a go and let's see what happens. There we go. Not too bad at all. So I'm going to have a card like so. I'm going to have one of these like so. I've got a somewhere I have in my little pile of goodies here a different um, a piece of shimmery white cup with a stitch circle and I'm going to stamp a sentiment into there which says where is it? It's this one that says hello there because I love that sentiment too. Hi Louis, hi Connie, how are you? There we go, we've got hello there. And I'm going to grab the uh, this one. I don't know what it is actually, it's some sort of wheaty, leafy, greeny thing. I'll show you what it looks like if I push that on there, you can see it's this one. And I'm just going to go up the side here and a little bit more at the bottom just to add a little bit to my oh I might add another little tiny bit you don't, I don't have oh this this is the set Connie that I've chosen for my card club for October because I absolutely love it Um, I could do cards with this till the cows come home I loved it the minute I saw it in the catalogue it's funny isn't it something just grabs you so I'm just doing that one like so doing that one like so and what I am going to do I'm just going to see if I can grab a little bit of the grey I'm just going to turn around excuse my back ladies and gentlemen I'm just going to trim this piece of grey to a centimetre strip like so this is also from the pa from the suite and I'm just going to cut that oh excuse my back again at 10 centimetres I told you I was making this up as I'm going along. There we go. There we go. So, to, adhere, to assemble this card, you're going to need to glue this glimmer, Starry Sky Glimmer, Ombre Glimmer, to your card, like so. Plenty of glue, because of course it's 3D, it's got wrinkles in it now, or whatever else you want to call it. And it'll take a little while to just get the glue in the right places and hold itself where you want it to be rather than and I tend to find with these I get my bone turn it over and get my bone fold and just give it a really good press make sure your crease is nice but also it helps to spread the glue through the there we go and using I'm just going to use ordinary Tombow on the back of this stamped leaf and pop it on there again you'll just have to wait a couple of seconds because of all the different there it is sticking now there we go and then oops it's difficult because you don't want to get too much glue on and have it squeezing out all over the place oh nearly stuck that the wrong way up I'm sticking the grey strip just across at the bottom there. Always, I try to, oops, let's just make sure that is straight. Yep, use your grid paper because you can see, you can see a line across. And then I'm going to use some dimensionals on the back of my circle. Um, Let me know what you think of this suite because, as I say, I absolutely love it. And if you haven't found it yet, it's in the annual catalogue. I could have been really organised and shown you it, but I don't have an annual catalogue to hand. And in fact, I think I've given them all out. So there we go. That's just going to go on there. And just oh, slightly to the right more. And because it's all very sparkly, we're going to have a few more of these sparkly dots. 
iridescent gems on here. Come on. Actually, I'm going to take that one off. They do pop off if you want, don't want them where you've just put them. I'm going to put one one. Oh, can't do it. Come on. One cube two. And one large one. They come in three different sizes, these as well, so they're really useful for layering up your card. So, there we go. That's another one for tonight. And, oh, I'm just looking at the time. Let me just grab... Just wash my stamp and scrub. Let's find that and just clean these stamps off. If you haven't seen one of these, um, it's our simple chamois. You just keep them damp in whatever sort of box and they clean your cart stamps absolutely instantly. They hold an awful lot of mess and they stop everything getting really, really, really gunky. And when you've done that side, just turn it over and you can have a really good look. So there we go and finally so we've got two cards where i've used the embossing folder and the blender brushes and then the last one i've got a piece of the gray granite embossed and on the top of it i've just chosen some of the i think that's going to be too big i was going to use the pacific point but i think i'm going to use this piece, which is the same starry sky, um, but it's the DSP paper. I've got embellishments stuck to me. And thank you, Caroline. No, I don't think there's an actual rule. Um, I just I just go with whatever I like the look of, really, Helen. Um, depends who you are. If you crafted with my mum, you'd have none left. She likes to put lots of bling on everything. So all I've done here, so I just tend to, I don't, I'm not a blingy person. So um, I don't know whether anybody else can answer Helen. She wants to know, is do they have, anybody have any rules about where they put their bling? So with this one, I thought I'd make a little bit more of a serious card, a little bit more whatever. So it's the grey granite, again, from the same suite. I've got a, now got a piece of the Starry Sky DSP. These come in six inch squares. I'm literally just going to stick this like that. Have to run. Thank you, Connie. Thanks for joining me all the way from Ontario. That's lovely. Take care. We need to chat soon. Go and keep putting people in your funnel. And Connie will know what I mean. And then this is a piece. Oh, now, dilemmas. Oh, there we go. Grey. on grey or spots grey or spots while you're deciding I'm going to stamp a sentiment if I can find something Grey, grey, right, grey. Anybody else got any version of grey? I'm just going to try this in grey. Grey, grey and more grey. Grey, grey. Right, we'll go with grey. Funny enough, ladies and gentlemen, we'll go with grey. Let me just grab the grey. And I'm going to see, I might need to get another piece of white card. Thought I'd cut some to fit. I'm not sure this is quite big enough. Hmm, bit way. Let's try it that way. Oh, no, I can work with that, I think. Grey. We're going with grey. I get the message. We're going with grey. Is that any... Ah, found a wider piece. I have, if you could see round me, I have piles of little pieces that I use. And every so often I actually tidy it. I do tidy it up, honestly, I do. Now, again... I'm showing you what use this if you don't use grid paper to help you stamp you really do need to because you can line it up perfectly there we go let's pop that out the way close that up oh no because I'm going to come in with my favorite little bit of leafy stuff 
I don't know what it's called. I'll just add one. I'll probably cut these off in a minute, but we'll have a play. Oh, oh. There we go. Right, so we have, I'm going for grey. Just glued straight down, very simple layering. Again, if you haven't discovered this paper, you need to. Because don't forget, it's only here for a year. Um, trying to get that on straight, which I haven't succeeded in. Let's get it off again. There we go. And with my snips, I'm going to take the end off there like that. thought it would. It just fits on there. And I'm just going to turn around and just trim that straight because it's looking wrong with me. There we go. I'm going to take a little tiny bit off the other end too. Just a little bit. There we go. Best wishes and happy thoughts. I'm going to pop it over there like so. And to be honest, I don't think I'm actually going to add an awful lot else to that. I might. Oh, now I know what I have got. What have I done with that? I've lost it in the pile. I have got some other pieces here, but I don't think they're going to work. So I'm just wondering about another one of these big leaves. Do we think we want another leaf? Leaf or no leaf? If I stamp that, let's stamp that grey. She's good at tidying. No, I'm not. I'm definitely not good at tidying. I'm good. At, I'm good at tidying your things, but I'm not good at tidying my own. That's the problem. I'll stamp this leaf, and you can tell me whether or not I should be putting it on. Let's see if we can fit him on. Oh, don't like that way. No, don't like that at all. No, I'm definitely not having it because it's going in the bin. There we go. So, I'm just going to make... I'll just grab a couple of dimensionals. Yeah, we could have had a leaf, Mum. Sadly, I think I've just wrecked it, so we're not doing a leaf. We're just popping this one on here, like so, and I'm just going to bring in another card, and I'm just going to glue this one on. It's amazing these in folders. You just do need to get enough glue around the edges to. Stick him on like so. And this one I think would work with some of the more matte dots. So I'll find the starry sky ones out of here. And I'm literally going to just go one, two, Three. So there we are. That's tonight's offerings using the Fern 3D folder, the inks from the Sunprint Suite, which are uh, Pacific Point, Granite Grey, Grey Granite, even. I'll get it round on the right way one day. Starry Sky and Night of Navy. I think they're really, really interesting colours. It's all to do with cyanotype. And tonight I've made a more masculine, possibly, card. A very sparkly, blingy, embossed card. And another one showing how we can use the blender brushes to add colour to our embossed. Thank you very much. It's been really nice sharing all these projects with you and I do hope 
that you'll come back and watch again next Tuesday. It will be Tuesdays from now on. Um, I, I'll be live at seven o'clock. And if you haven't had chance and you are interested, do let me know by Friday if you want to take part in the October Craft Club and I'll pop a kit to the post or get one to you ready for collection. All the information's on my page. It's been really lovely to craft with you this evening, but take care, stay safe, and hope to see you very soon. Bye.